the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, NACA, has begun a thorough assessment and uh, scrutiny of the proposed test books for basic schools in the country. Professor Edward Apia, Director General of the NACA, is currently leading a delegation to visit some schools in Accra to inspect test books being used in selected public and private schools. Here is an interaction between Professor Edward Apia and the head teacher for Manche, Taki, the first primary. The standard curriculum is fine. Well, but some of them they will say based on NACA curriculum, but it's not. It's not NACA. Yeah, but this one, is the gentleman brought it last two weeks. So I gave it to the teachers to check. Check it. Uh, okay. If it is. Have you gone to it? Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's very useful. It's useful. Yes, I'm certain some of the questions from, yeah. from that. Yes. Uh, what, what makes it useful? <laughs> Because, it's easy to comprehend. Because they, they didn't bring it to us to <laughs> assess. <laughs> so if it's supplementary, all right, fine. But if it's a supplementary, we still want uh, okay, so this. this uh, all right. You see, one of the things that we are also doing is we want to avoid soul or testing. I mean, okay, so you can see that one, two, three, four, five, or test. One, two, three, four, five. That one is a soul altar. So between this and this, which one do you think will be rich? Yeah. Uh, so in, in trying to look for the books, those are the things that you need to look for. Uh, look for books if that are not so altars. For, like, for example, religious and moral, for example. Is religious and moral, for example. You have, uh, stand, uh, what do you call it, the African tradition. You have the Christian, and then you have a Muslim. So one person, do you think he can do all? <laughs> yeah, so it's important that you get closer. So in trying to get them, try as much as possible to look out for those things, uh -huh. which will help you. Yes, we are not saying you have to use only our books to prepare, but for the kids, only our books. Yes. But in your preparations, you have other resources. But make sure that the books will help you. A teacher of Manche, Taki, the first primary, Belinda Dede Sefako, revealed that the test books available are inadequate. She appeals to parents for the meantime to purchase those books by themselves. We have um, some of the textbooks they've been provided, uh, but there are some three other subjects which have not been provided. So we would be grateful if the government would. Which subjects? Uh, what are those three subjects? How well there are people, history religious and moral education and in addition those in the upper primary also need um, creative access books and computing as well so how do you teach oh. this subject area without a test mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh um we use the internet now the internet helps a lot and you get details from the internet the, we get details from the internet because we have the curriculum and a resource pack so we get other references from the uh, the internet is the, is the lack of it affecting teaching and learning? Um, in a way, I would say yes, um, because the children need it to, at least when they see pictures of um, things, it will help them. When they see the pictures and they are able to read, through, it helps them. The teachers jot down a few points for them, but if they have their books, it will help them more. Because how, how long has this been? Oh, since um, the curriculum started in 2019. You've had this challenge? Yes, we've had this challenge, but they've solved it to a point. So, with, by providing some of the books for us last year. Leaving out the three books that you talked about? Um, the other three have not been provided. So at all? At all, yes. Okay. But the ones provided, I, I can see the idea <laughs> Yeah, the teacher said she's sharing the books. Oh, they don't send them home. We use them in the school because where most of them live, if we give the books to them, they wouldn't bring it back. So we use it as references in the classroom and they copy the homework from it and send it to home. Okay. So what if they need to make any reference? How do they go about it? That's one. Um, some of their parents are provided. We've asked them to try and get some um, on the markets. We've been educating them to do that, the parents. 
get the same copy in the Yes, they can. Well. They have these books are on the market. On it, they are approved yeah. by NACA. They are approved ones, yes. The okay. winning mats and the rest, they are all on the market. So mm. it, this is strictly mm. not for sale. So how will mm. they get this? No, they are copies the that are for sale. But this one is made for the public schools, so it's not for sale. Let's go over the phone now and speak with Jacqueline Yabua for more. Jacqueline, um, which schools have you visited and what more can you report for us? Okay, great. So um, we've been to eight schools so far, um, um, all under Manchet, Taki Schools and Amuji Cluster of Schools. And as you heard earlier, the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment has initiated a comprehensive evaluation, which is intended for most of the schools across the nation. So currently we are with um, Professor Edward Apia, who is the Director General of NACA. And um, a few of the revelations that came out was that um, most of the unapproved books were, were in the schools. And also we found out that most of the books in here were authored by just individuals and they didn't go through the whole process. So these were most of the issues that came out um, during the call. But the okay. exercise is not ending today. It is expected to continue in the upcoming days. Okay. But, but, but how is NACA responding to the concerns? Okay. So um, generally, the, the movement today is to sensitize them. So if they come back later on to find out that the teachers in the school are still um, giving out textbooks which are unapproved, um, they will definitely um, um, take sanctions against them or take decisions against them. But today is just mainly to sensitize them and educate them about the approved books by the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment. Mm. All right, Jacqueline, grateful to you for joining us here. Yeah? So um, she is on that tour with the uh, NACA team. Right.